I discovered nuclear medicine because my mom got sick in 2019 and she went through cancer and is survived. I kind of stumbled upon it. It was serendipity. It really piqued my interest in exactly what nuclear medicine was and how it transforms lives. I was uh, indecided between biomedical engineering and nuclear engineering. And then when I realized that I was able to combine these two patients together, so the biomedical component uh, and the nuclear part, uh, I was like, bingo. I was taking the elevator down to the, to the first floor and there was the Department of Nuclear Medicine. And I kind of went in, uh, I spoke with a few trainees who were working there, just kind of asking like, what do you guys do and everything. I really like that. I've chosen nuclear medicine because we are capable to make something visible, which we cannot see with the bare eye. So when we image patients after administering the radiopharmaceutical, we can see how it moves through the patient's body and can use that for diagnosis, but also for the treatment modification. And that's what excited me, that we can treat what we see on the images and see what we treat. My favorite thing about being in nuclear medicine is it, it gives you all the things you really want to do as a physician scientist. It's really interesting how a field is able to you know connect so many expertise and then have a common objective that again is improve the quality of life of patients. On the clinical side you can really help uh, your patients a lot by both you know, being involved with the diagnostic aspects of it as well as the therapeutic aspects of it. For me, the favorite thing is to see new radiopharmaceuticals making it to the market. That means not only first in human, which we did a lot in Germany while I was there, but also in clinical trials to then routine of care. And then you, you get to train the next generation specialists. So you're constantly reading out with residents, fellows, you're, you're uh, helping them learn the intricacies of nuclear medicine. So that's all very rewarding how everybody is different. Every person, every body is so different. That is my favorite, to see how people look. They're, all the physiology is completely different. You can have a gallbladder shaped one way on one person and completely different on the next person. As a nuclear medicine physician, I'm taking care of patients. I'm also educating our residents and our trainees. And I'm also involved with a, a lot of research which will eventually have clinical translation and is going to help our patients. I'm an educator. So I'm a researcher, but also I'm an educator. I love to teach. And uh, when I enter in class uh, and I see students that not only are you know attentive, uh, but they ask questions and they, I see their motivation, they really want to understand, that's something that makes, makes me happy. Nuclear medicine is exciting, it's a fast moving field. It meets my requirements because we have new radiopharmaceuticals on the market all the time. We have new targets, new molecular targets that we can treat. We have new patients coming in. It's moving rapidly and we can do something to actually benefit a patient's life. The most rewarding day is when experiment goes well, an experiment takes probably years to prepare. Every day brings something new, so I'd say the best day is the first day. I think it was two years ago when I visited the University Hospital in Tübingen, Germany, to see their total body pet and to do an experiment with them there. I had treated an elderly gentleman with prostate cancer, um, and um, I read his um, imaging after two cycles of therapy, and I saw that all of his uh, cancer had virtually disappeared on imaging. It was a very satisfying moment for me that what we are doing actually matters and is really helping a lot of patients out there. It's unbelievable how everybody has its own contribution and that is important. Like you need all these pieces to have the entire puzzle. And when that happens, that's the best day. My career goals in nuclear medicine are to continue doing research, to make dosimetry happen in every day's patient's life to modify treatment and to continue educating and learning and teaching. So I started as an assistant professor, so definitely I want to continue in academia. So the path is, of course, associate and full professor. I want to eventually evolve as a physician scientist. I want to have both a very strong clinical practice as well as I want to be very active on the research side, helping translate those research into what matters for the patients on the clinical side. My future career goals are to bring nuclear medicine nationwide to as many people as possible because if I had found out about this when I was younger, I would have chosen this a lot sooner. So I'm trying to introduce it to as many young people as I can. My recommendation to anyone who plans to pursue nuclear medicine or is already in nuclear medicine is, is you've made a really good choice. It's exciting that nuclear medicine is so multidisciplinary. We have physicists, we have biologists, we have chemists, we have technologists, we have physicians. So what, at whatever step of your career you are, 
come explore nuclear medicine, learn, grow and just stay curious. I feel like nuclear medicine is a really, really rewarding specialty. The way we are able to look at a lot of disease processes from a functional standpoint is really unparalleled with any other specialty. And the fact that our, the field of theranostics is booming, we are able to now both image and treat those imaging targets is, is just really amazing. Find your path and be unconventional because uh, it's important to follow the path of others, but also important to provide your own uh, direction, your own point of view. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and, and really look into it. If you're interested, just absolutely go for it. To anyone who's interested in a career in nuclear medicine, I'd, I'd just strongly encourage them. There's just no concept to speak of. Thank you.